For my safety, I've got some glasses that I'm gonna be wearing. And I also built this little enclosure here out of some steel. That way any exploding lithium fragments will only be able to go towards my shooting table and not out into the forest, you know? And just in case there's a fire, I've got some stuff to put it out with. We are gonna be using this HP Max 50 cal to sling these batteries. These are lithium 1200 milliamp hours a piece, triple A's, 121 grains. We're gonna try to break probably all but three of these rules. These are the 3D printed sabots that I made for them. Got a jug of regular water and a jug of salt water because apparently salt water reacts with lithium more. So we will see. Battery number one, we're gonna shoot it at some steel see if it blows up on just the steel itself here we go fits very nicely and we'll just ramrod it in until it's fully seated I couldn't hit anything with those other sabots and I ended up just wasting them all. So I got another pack of batteries and made these sabots tighter and longer. So hopefully they'll engage the rifling and fly a little bit straighter. Okay, it's salt water time. Hopefully this will give us a better reaction. Okay, no reaction again. Maybe I made them a little bit too accurate because they are flying straight now. You can see the rifling grooves in my sabot. I just don't think it's busting them open enough with it hitting head on like this. two in there now and they're still not reacting these lithium batteries seem to be really safe unless you completely disassemble them like you see me doing here <laughs> 